Well, folks, I came out here to put my game camera SIM cards back in, and I'm gonna go do that. But I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm not too enthusiastic about it. Welcome back to my channel, folks. I'm Eric, the old jarhead. I'm glad you're here. I'm gonna bring you some game camera picks today. The deer are back. I hope you enjoy them. But first, I'm gonna wander out here and try to get these SIM cards put back in. Oh, I've had a long day today. So much done. Got that new inverter installed, got it working. Yesterday I milled up a log after fixing the sawmill. So got that done. Managed to get the D log I milled up on the deck there. I dropped it, had to lift it. Oh, not good for my bad back, but that's okay. It is what it is. So we're gonna head out here and uh, go and do these game camera cards. And try not to get too wet. Oh, of course it sounds worse than it is probably, but it is raining pretty good, folks. <laughs> Just. Just my luck. Well, they did say 90% chance of rain, so I'm gonna tell you it's been 100%. It hasn't actually stopped at all today. It did die down to just a bit of a drizzle at one point for a while, but then we had hail and more rain and it's just been crazy, but I've been trying to keep busy and get stuff done anyway, despite all the rain and the mud and everything else. So, hasn't been too bad. I've been busy today though. And I'm feeling it, but oh, I had a good dinner though. Oh, yeah. I love it out here, folks. Dinner tonight was smoked pork chop and a chicken rice combo. And what I do is I smoke the pork chops on my Traeger and I smoke them for about an hour to an hour and a half. And then I always smoke about six or eight and then I take them all off and I get the grill up to 450 degrees and I just put two back on for us to eat that night and the other four or six we vacuum seal those and stick those in the freezer. Now when I come out here, I can just go ahead and bring one out, throw it in a frying pan and sear it and finish it off in a frying pan. So that's what I did tonight. Oh, it was good too. And then I've got some old mountain house foods. They're like 25 years old. But you know what? Freeze dried stuff lasts that long. So I just take some of that out, boil up some water, let it soak for 10 minutes. And I've got some chicken rice combo that tastes pretty good. Mountain house stuff tastes pretty good. I'm not endorsing Mountain House and they don't sponsor me. I'm just telling you, I like this stuff and it's 25 years old and it's still good. That's why I've got a freeze dryer. Anyway, let's get this memory card stuck in here and try not to get too much water in it. I need to move this camera, I think. All right, back on video. Still got batteries in that one. And we'll head over to this one. It's kind of cool, we had both uh, muleys and whitetails coming through here. So the deer are definitely back. Nothing else though. I don't know if this guy's got enough battery power in left in it anymore, but we'll find out. And hopefully not get water dropped in it like I just did right there. <laughs> See if it keeps working. This one's the oldest camera I have. Oh, I didn't turn it back on. Trying to get close so it didn't get wet. Says wait. Oh yeah, that's good. All right. That one's good. All right. Let's keep on keeping on. Oh, I like it when I come out here and uh, I have such a busy day. The only problem is I didn't have any new books on my Kindle that I read. You know, I like to read like the Jack Reacher series, stuff like that. And I didn't have anything, so I didn't bring my Kindle out. And I didn't have any other books to bring out, and I've read everything out here. I just didn't have anything I wanted to read. So I really haven't had anything to read. i just sitting around and playing solitaire. That guy's good. The trick with these game cameras is to use decent batteries, and I think I have decent batteries in them, but I don't know. All right, enough of that, folks. Here we go. I'm leaving, and this is what we saw on the game cameras. Check it out.
How about all those deer? They're just running around all over the place. One of them looked like it could be a real young buck, not sure, but boy, he had a real thick neck. So it could have been, otherwise they're just all does, but hey, nice to see him. Now let's get back to the video. All right. Oh, let's take a stroll over here in the rain. <laughs> we got the yellow covers back on. Got it lubed up really well. I still need to get some quarter 20 wing nuts from my battery cover because I can't find them. So the rats probably stole them. But um, I think I'm going to come out here tomorrow before I leave, pull that band off. I left it on just in case the weather improves. If it does, then I'll turn that into a D-log. <laughs> but putting it up on there, I'm going to have to be a little more diligent about how I do it because that one there, <laughs> that one up there fell and I had to pick it back up and that's not good for my back. So, but you know, we're getting there. Got a lot of milling to do before I got enough logs for everything I'm planning on, but I got a lot of logs to bring down. So I think we'll be okay there. I think it's time to go in and sit in front of the wood stove. I got the generator running just to charge up my batteries a bit more because I was doing some testing on my new inverter. And <laughs> I was running my table saw and skill saw off of it. No generator running, just the, off the batteries. And it drained them down to 26.2 volts, which is really nothing. I mean, it's still probably 70%. So still pretty good, but I just, I like to charge them back up before I go to bed at night. So I'll let it run for another hour or so. And it'll just test that charger out. See if that charger will get those guys up to where they're supposed to be. I think I have it on the right setting but I'm not gonna go back in there right now and check. That might be the next time I'm out here. And oh man, it's, the rain is coming down again, folks. I need to take those bands back with me when I go home. But uh, holy moly, it's just raining again. So I got a mess to clean up tomorrow. Bunch of stuff to bring back with me. For now, I think I'm gonna go in and sit by the wood stove play some more solitaire so folks i hope you enjoyed those game camera videos we'll see what happens this spring i, I suspect we'll get some coyote bear maybe a cougar or a bobcat we'll see i don't know if it's bobcat or lynx out here i'll have to look that up they might both be out here but hopefully i'll get some of those so i can bring that to you as well but for now just the deer so thanks for watching here's another video for you to check out i really appreciate it the old jar hit out.